So please forgive the fan in the background. It's a little warm in the studio this evening. I have been asked by a few people to show my uh, pinking or my cutting technique for the silk. <clears throat> so I have it on a cutting board. Both layers of the backs are together, right sides together. I've drawn some guidelines for myself. And this particular, this particular uh, cutting is being done. I have uh, fine lines of micro pinking, very small cuts, and then I have larger cuts that go in between those lines. So here I am right here, just about to, I just have a regular box cutter blade. And I'm just going to use my body's natural tendency to move at a consistent rate to make very small cuts along here. I know it's gonna go out of frame shortly, bear with me. But you can see that I have to keep my left hand kind of in position so that I make sure I'm not um, moving the fabric too much. The next thing that I'll do is I'll do my line of larger cuts and I'm just going to do these at a 45 degree angle very carefully just placing the blade and dragging my hand in a very consistent way. Okay, and I'm staying well clear of the bottom every time that I do this. So now I'm going to do another line of micro pinks along here. And this blade is very sharp and fresh. So I know that I'm getting both layers. I'm trying to be as even as possible along these lines that I've drawn. These are just really fine pencil lines that I've drawn faintly on the back of the silk. Now in order to get the cut that goes the opposite direction, I have to turn the board so that I can slash this way. But the thing is, is the human body is very good at doing repetitive motion. And you'll notice in historic garments, you'll see that things are regular, but not always 100% identically consistent. And that's because I think they're using this kind of uh, thinking where they're just using their body as a repetitive motion tool and they're not really worrying too much about very specific distances between things. They're just creating the artwork as they go. So that's another line done. You can see how quickly this goes once you're in a rhythm. Okay, I will switch this up so that I have the next line here. And it's weird because the faster I go, the more regular it seems to become. All right, and then I'm going to go here and I'm shifting the line of my cuts down slightly so that I can stay well away from any of the working edges where the garment is going to be assembled. I find this to be much easier than using my pinking tool um, just because this blade cuts a little bit easier and I don't have to use a mallet or anything. But even when I do use my pinking tool, which I have right here, I don't even really go to the extent of using a mallet at all. I can take my pinking tool and I just lay it down and I just press with my hand. And this will wear out your palm really quickly. So I often will put like a little piece of leather in the palm of my hand as I work. But when your pinker is sharpened properly, this is actually quite easy to do. And the cuts, when it's sharpened well, they go all the way through. This pinker clearly needs some sharpening, so I'm gonna go back to using my box cutter blade, which is also faster. Now I have used that exact pinker as a blade and just used the corners and the edges and, and used it like exactly the same technique that I'm using this box cutter blade. And it works quite well. It fits beautifully in the hand and it really enables you to
to cut well. I mean, you can see how easily it's going through the fabric. And I just made the wrong direction, aw oh, darn it. And so here I can just scratch the silk a little bit and it cuts through and gives me the look that I'm going for. And I could do this on the straight grain, on the cross grain, on the bias grain, and each different direction that I choose to do it gives me a different final appearance. So here you can see, I'm gonna just tug the fabric a little bit on the bias to open up some of these cuts. And you can really see that it just, it gets some beautiful detail. And eventually, as this is roughed up during wear, you can see that these cuts are going to bloom and blossom open really beautifully. And that creates the incredible texture that gives these pinked and slashed garments their unique appearance. Thanks so much. I hope you've enjoyed this.